Honestly, I see myself winning. Hi guys, welcome back with the first update of Mr. Olympia 2022. We are 15 weeks away from the biggest bodybuilding event, Mr. Olympia. So let's dive into it. <laughs> So current Mr. Olympia Big Remy keeps sharing his physique updates and he's looking undeniably very impressive with his invincible size and very tremendous conditioning. Presumably Big Remy is putting his 100% to defend his title of Olympia. In my personal opinion, by far he's looking uncatchable by any fellow Olympian. And I think if his conditioning is on point, reigning champ Big Ramy will be incredibly hard to defeat this year. Come on! Come on, Rami! Come on! Okay, let's go, Rami! Rami! Oh, let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! One! Brandon Curry has started his Olympia prep after moving to Kuwait to get back his Olympia title. We have seen Brandon finishing at second spot for consecutive two years and this year he intends to bring bigger and fuller package to the Olympia stage. And his coach is extremely confident that Brandon will easily beat current Mr. Olympia Big Ramy this year, as explained in the recent interview with AJ. And Brandon, with the size he's coming, do we have enough time to beat Big Ramy? At this Olympia? Easy. Yes, we have time. Easy. Nick Walker keeps grinding very hard this year and he's very determined beating the current champ Big Ramy and winning his first Mr. Olympia. Honestly, I see myself winning. He had the whole year to grow and make crucial improvements and surely we are going to see much better Nick this year. He recently addressed again one of the most frequently asked questions about his varicose veins and he explains that he has no health related issue with them. Bro, people think like I'm gonna die from varicose veins. There's, there's nothing wrong, yeah they're ugly, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. No, not at all. On the other hand, Hadi Chupan has not revealed his game plan yet for this year Olympia. It's uncertain to say he's going to play size game this year, or he will constantly bring the same dominant package in conditioning department to disrupt the open class. As Hunter Labrada was already qualified by finishing at 4th place last year, so he decided to take an extended break from competing and focus his all energies on solely improving his physique for the 2022 Mr. Olympia. 16 weeks out in the update, he is at 285 pounds and 2 weeks before in the guest posing, he was at 290 pounds. I think he is the biggest by far in his pro bodybuilding career and it's really fascinating to see what improvements he will bring on Olympia stage this year. While William Bonac was on vacation with family recently and soon he is going to start his prep for the Olympia under the supervision of his coach Chad Nichols. Whereas Nigerian rising star Blessing Vodibu is very focused and motivated for his debut in Olympia. I think he has a chance to crack top 10 this year but Blessing has the target to crack top 6 in his first Olympia. I think the boogeyman fourth. Realistically, I do not see him mix in the top 6 in 2022 Mr. Olympia, but I think another rising star, Andrew Jack, has much higher chances to fight with the front runners of the show and in 4 weeks, we are going to see his Olympia preview with close to 300 pounds of very aesthetic physique on Arnold Classic UK stage. Charles Griffin is coming with incredible improvements this year for the Olympia. He has fixed his major flaws which give completely new look to his physique. His midsection is no longer his weak point, also he brought up his legs a lot, but it will be a fierce battle for earning top spot when he returns to the Olympia stage after 2018. Mohamed Al Nasur has given a glimpse of his progress in the start of his Olympia prep. He does not have the best structure for bodybuilding but he brings very crisp sharp conditioning which will be interesting to see Jordanian bodybuilder in 15 weeks.
Brazilian sensation Vitor Bofi has revealed his first complete physique update on his sponsored channel Max Titanium. Currently, he's weighing in at 275 pounds and he's going to compete very first time on Olympia stage. So Regan Grimes is showing off his back progress. His lower back is fully well built, very dense and thick. And in the recent update, he said he's been the biggest by far at 290 plus pounds. As Regan is not consistent, so we will see what team Milo Sarchev brings this year. Another Canadian bodybuilder, Antoine Wyatt, is at 285 pounds and he is promising to bring the super shredded and improved package in his second Olympia appearance. One of the most aesthetic bodybuilder right now in open class, Rafael Brando, has just landed in the USA and now he's training in Flex Lopez gym for his Mr. Olympia debut. While giant killer Sean Clorida will be one of the most shredded contenders next to the big boys on Olympia stage. And he has intentions to compete in both divisions in Open and 212, but he has not received a confirmation yet from the Olympia organizers whether he will be allowed to compete in both divisions or not. Akeem Williams is gradually coming back on track after the serious accident. Presumably because of the injury, it was not his best package we saw on Tampa Pro stage. Well, from the, the accident, you know, my neck, I had some neck problem, neck injury from the whiplash and also lower back, my spine, my disc actually came out of place. So I had to go to the therapy and actually have the doctor. Doc but I hope he nails his conditioning and brings his most improved look on Olympia stage this time. So that's all guys, thanks for watching and keep spotting.